Thank you. Dr. Uh, Dr. Mann, I'll let you respond. Uh, thank you very much. Um, with regard to hurricanes, I actually uh, co-authored an article in the journal Nature um, about 10 years ago where we used geological information uh, from what are known as uh, um, uh, deposits, uh, sedimentary deposits, uh, overwash deposits left behind by ancient hurricanes. So we can actually reconstruct the history of landfalling hurricanes along the U.S. East Coast, along the Caribbean. And so we have this rich uh, archive of information that tells us that, in fact, the increase in intensity that we're seeing today uh, does appear to be without precedent as far back as we can go. With regard to wildfires, a group of tree ring specialists a, a few years ago reconstructed the history of wildfire as well as drought um, in California. And their finding is that both the increase in wildfire and the drought, the epic drought that we saw in California over the last decade, are without precedent as far back as those records go, uh, more than a thousand years. Let me also, if I may, comment on uh, this uh, claim that but the gentleman will yield, Mr. Chairman, since Dr. Mann is responding Sorry, to a I, question, I, I, I did not my ask. Time. It's my time. Thank you. Uh, I reclaim well, my time. I asked the gentleman. Uh, Dr. Lady Mann, the chair recognizes Ocasio Cortez. The Thank you, Please. and Mr. Chair, and I would Dr. like to. Dr. Curry should be allowed to respond. The chair recognizes Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez. This Thank is you her so time, much. and her time will be restored due to the interruption. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. I appreciate it, despite uh, the attempts to take my time away where there is no statute in the rules where that is appropriate or acceptable. I, believe, um, I, I believe will move on. So the Puerto Rican island of Vieques is located nearly eight miles from mainland Puerto Rico. In the aftermath of Hurricane Maria, my grandfather died. And, uh, and the island of Vieques is where 9,000 American citizens live. These Americans are still suffering today, almost two years after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. On November 29, 2017, more than two months after Hurricane Maria, an individual whose name has been redacted emailed Michael Byrne, FEMA's lead official in Puerto Rico. This person wrote, and I quote, we have limited to no communications. Without the grid, no cell tower or landline is available. Internet service needs power, and like it or not, this is the means of global communication. Our water system is currently run on emergency generators. The key word here is emergency. They need regular power. Without potable water and proper sewage treatment, we will get sick. This email was then forwarded from what appears to be a different individual's email address, and the FEMA, and the FEMA administrator at the time, Brock Long, was copied on this email. The second individual writes, I know you have had a rough time in Houston, but at least you had competent people in charge of the response. We have incompetent people in charge here, and they and are getting no response to our urgent needs. First of all, restoration of power. Mr. Witt, if you were leading FEMA's recovery to Hurricane Maria, what would have been your plan for addressing electrical outages on the island of Vieques? Well, I wasn't in place at the time that had happened. Mm -hmm and uh, wasn't coordinating in the, in the response, but let me just share this with you. Hurricane Maryland that hit the Virgin Islands, I flew down there and it destroyed power, water, infrastructure, airport, and we were able to get things up and running extremely fast. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I also want to ask you about the, island's own, about the island of Vieques' only hospital, which was destroyed during the storm and to this day has not yet been rebuilt. The New York Times published a story in April of this year that reported that pregnant women in Vieques were forced to travel by boat or plane to the, quote, big island eight miles away to give birth while dialysis patients had to travel three times weekly by boat or plane for more than a year after Maria hit. According to that same New York Times report, the hospital remains to this day, quote, a shuttered wreck of rust and mold. Mr. Witt, when you were the leader of FEMA, was it a priority for you to rebuild hospitals destroyed by hurricanes? Yes, it was, earthquakes as well. Uh, there's a company that we work with, uh, actually looking at Mozambique right now mm -hmm. that can fly in a hospital um, that they set up. It's a 500-bed hospital as well as mobile clinics. Thank you. And is there anything FEMA could be doing now that it is not currently doing to help rebuild critical infrastructures like hospitals in Puerto Rico? 
You know, I, I've been to Puerto Rico several times since the hurricane and, and doing some work down there, particularly in the housing as well as the energy side. Um, you know, it's hard for me to answer that question by not being there uh, in the middle of it. Um, would I have done it different? I don't know. I, I can't tell you because I haven't really looked at the problems or what happened there. I understand. Thank you very much. I yield the rest of my time to the chair. I'm sorry, did you yield back? And I, uh, Chair, grant you an additional 30 seconds. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Witt, or rather, Dr. Mann, as climate change worsens, we know through uh, scientific consensus and modeling that more environmental disasters are to come, correct? Absolutely. Now, and Mr. Witt, FEMA is, you know, it, it, as its name implies, it's the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Its primary uh, responsibility is in the short-term and emergency management of natural disasters, correct? It's short-term, long-term. Short-term and long-term. Do you believe that the agency is fully resourced and, and is uh, actively planning for the full-term transition of the United States infrastructure to accommodate for sea level rises and other uh, changes brought by natural disasters and climate change? Time has expired, but you can answer the question. I think that there's a lot that needs to be done, as Mr. Curry had said earlier, particularly in the training side of uh, employees and new, new employees that's come on board. We had a very, very important training employed program when I reestablished FEMA and rebuilt it. And I think also that uh, with the amount of uh, people that they have on board now, uh, which I had 2,600 employees, full-time employees, and uh, I think they've got almost 9,000 now. But, you know, they've had 200, uh, 220 federal disasters in two years. I had 340 in eight years. So you can tell that it change, it's changing very quickly, and uh, climate change is a big part of it.